Brown on the offensive end. Mark Kagiwa, who's nursing that knee injury in the U.S. You look at this Santa Lucia team, Vito, and you can see that they have the size. They definitely have the athletic ability. To defend the Philippine Cup Championship in 24 years. The last team to do it, great pace in 1984 and 1985. Arthadi slashing inside, yeah. stretches for the roll. Drop it in, but he falls short. Arthadi now with a spin, but that's rejected by Kelly Williams. Ball game. We're now at the eight minute mark of the second quarter. Touch pass to Arthadi. Arthadi yeah. delivers. The beginning of the second half with seven points each. Add another two points to that for Paul Artani, so maybe he might be the man tonight. So, well, he's, he's now leading. Artani finds a space inside and gets the best of Coronel. And look, Artani getting that first step. Well, Artani and Coronel are really going at it here. To get the garbage points, and now. We have J.J. Helgerbrand who's got another wide open lane and you see Paul Artadi. Oh, nobody home there for Santa Lucia. Wide open layup. And Paul Artadi J. J. was... J.J. Helgerbrand forward yeah. back in the game in Almelon. Oh, beautiful dish from Artadi finding Helgerbrand cutting down low. And Helgerbrand in the ball game and Santa Lucia have managed to tie this ball game up. Sixth deadlock of the game. And now Artadi. That will be a foul called against the Santa Lucia Realtors. Looks like you can expect when Paul Artadi's in the game, definitely the tempo is going to really get a lot faster. Timeout, Santa Lucia Realtors. It all happened right here in the fourth quarter. And that game, that ball rather tapped away by Paul Artadi, and he draws the foul from Christian Coronel. Go ahead, pass to Artadi, who fakes up Miranda. A great, great fluid there by Artadi as he was able to stop on a dime to get that shot off. Talk to Paul Artadi, one on one. Artadi, did he get the contact or was it an offensive foul? It's going to be a foul on Miranda. And it will Looking be free throws coming up for Artadi. That is his fourth personal. Well, Artadi now has to step up to the line and make these shots for his Two Ebra. Three throws for Paul Artadi. You know, Artadi hit the floor on the other end with Amalon, got up, and then stole the basketball. Yes. <laughs> Talk about energy. It was just in motion the entire time, and now Paul Artadi, already with 16 points in the game, surpassing his entire season average of the previous year, and that will give Barangay oh, a bit of breathing in the room. Thank you, Vito. And right now, I'm with the best player of the game, of course, Paul Artadi with 18 points. Paul, last, uh, yung huling championships, ikaw yung pumulit kay JJ nung injured siya. And maganda yung laro mo nun. May hangover ka pa ba hanggang ngayon at dala mo pa rin yung laro mo? Yeah, first of all, I wanna thank God talaga. Siya nagbibigay sa akin ng confidence sa game ko. Uh, yun nga, meron pa siguro hangover. Kasi parang nakumpiyansa pa rin ako maglaro ngayon. Uh, sa tulong nila, Coach John, pinapabayaan ako maglaro. So I'm happy for my play. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys are playing without Rafi Rivas, Marco Giwa, and siyempre, pati si Billy Mamariel, wala rin sa lineup ninyo. Ano masasabi mo sa ibang teammates mo, sa mga nag-step up for this game as well? Yun niya, yeah. um, alam mo, bilib ako sa mga teammates ko eh. Uh, hindi lang sila naglalaro, may puso talaga silang maglaro. Kahit kulang-kulang kami, uh, talagang hard work lang at saka teamwork ang nagpapanalo sa amin. Okay, thank you for your time, Paul. Congratulations. And this is Cheska Litton. I'm going to throw you back to Vito and Coach Norman. Thank you, Cheska. So our best player of the game Thank is Paul Artadi. He didn't score the most points, but he is the reason.